Diesel exhausts actually emit less carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and hydrocarbon emissions than a catalyst equipped petrol engine. It's the particulates, that's tiny particles of soot which produce black exhaust smoke and the NOx emissions from a diesel engine which are greater. The emission control system of which the exhaust gas recirculation system performs a major function is aimed primarily at reducing the NOx levels. Exhaust gas recirculation, as its name implies, directs a proportion of the exhaust gases back into the inlet manifold to supplement the combustion air. This reduces the oxygen content and lowers combustion temperatures to reduce NOx emissions. EGR functions only when the engine is at operating temperature and is under light to medium load conditions. Although the system varies slightly from model to model, the basic operation remains similar. The EGR system of the TD27 engines, for example, comprises EGR valve, three solenoid vacuum valves, a control unit, a throttle control device with throttle valve, and a potentiometer linked to the injection pump's accelerator lever. Note that the throttle valve is fitted purely to assist the exhaust gas recirculation system. It's not in any way used to control the engine's output. The control unit receives input signals from the coolant temperature sensor, engine speed sensor and the potentiometer. The signals from the speed sensor mounted at the bottom of the timing case and the potentiometer are used to calculate the engine load. When driving under light load conditions, solenoids 2 and 3 are energized and open. Vacuum from the engine driven pump is thus directed to the EGR valve and the throttle control device. The valve opens and exhaust gases are recirculated into the inlet manifold. At the same time, the throttle control device almost closes the throttle valve. Its action creates more manifold depression, resulting in more exhaust gases being drawn into the cylinders. If the engine load increases, solenoid 2 closes and solenoid 1 opens. The vacuum now acts on a different part of the throttle control device, causing the throttle valve to open about halfway. The depression is subsequently reduced and so is the quantity of recirculated exhaust gas. If the load increases further, solenoid 1 is closed, the throttle valve opens fully and the recirculation quantity is further reduced. When the engine is cold or during heavy load or when accelerating or changing gear, all the solenoid valves are closed. The EGR valve shuts and the exhaust gas recirculation ceases. Some Nissan models are fitted with just an EGR valve, the throttle control device and its two solenoid control valves not being required. 